Hello there YouTube, it's PC Gaming XI here and today I have another tutorial for you. Uh, it is a bucket server 1.2.2 setup. It's pretty simple and pretty easy to do. So first off what you're going to do is go to Google and then just type in Java J-R-E like that. Go to the first one, it's called Java SE Downloads. Go to that. Click on find Java SE no where is it yes that's the one Java SE 7U3 and just click JRE download I'm not going to download it I've already got it so just click download um, then it'll ask you for this right choose your Windows bit if you're on 64 you choose x64 32 you choose x86 just agree and download so now you got that installed then what you want to do is download craft bucket 1.2.2 download that, I've already got it downloaded, don't worry, all the links will be in the description in order. So once you've got that downloaded it should look a bit like this. Then what you want to do is create a new folder. We'll call it folder. We'll just rename it to server. As you can see. What you want to do then is drag this into the server folder. Open up the folder. Right click in the folder, new, and then text document. You don't need to name it, just open up the text document. So it should look. Uh, you should open it with Notepad. I'm using Notepad++, so it's, it looks a bit different. Then what you want to do is go to this website called uh, Bucket Wiki Server Setup. So as soon as you've got Java 7, I'm assuming you've downloaded, I'm assuming you have downloaded, sorry. What you want to do then is just copy this code here, like that. Copy go to the text document and just paste it in. Just minimize that a second. So now that you got that in, what you want to do is then right click the craft bucket 2.2.2, rename, copy the name, go back to the text document, sorry, and then you should see jar.craftbucket. Highlight where it says craft bucket and then just paste over it. Make sure there's no space there or make sure there's a space there. So what you do is just file, save as, and then you want to save it as server dot bat. If you don't have the bat at the end, it will not work. And just click save. Close that as you no longer need that. So go back into your server folder, and then server dot bat. Run it. If it doesn't let you run it or it gives you an error, right click, run as admin. And then you should get a load of errors saying blah 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 warning system could not find system could not find so once you've done that let it prepare the world and you have successfully set up a world so I'm just going to get ready to join my own server if you're on a 64-bit machine then do what it says there note if you're running on Java 32-bit mode on a 64-bit machine you've got to change that to that so if you're on 64-bit Make sure you have percent program files if you're on 64, if you're on 32 bit, um, x86. So it should, that bit there should change. Well, that will go in at the end, Dora. So now our server set up. To join your own server, go on to multiplayer, add, rename it if you want, and then just type in local. Yeah, that's well, alright, sorry. And then host. Just press enter. I think I spelled it wrong. I don't know. I don't know. Right. Just type in two f type in colon two five 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 six five done. And you should get that and then you can join your own server. And as you can see, I have a one point two point two server set up. So I wanna give you a few bug fixes now at the end of the video. So, I'm going to stop the server a second. If you get an error where it says on a system could not find specific path, where it says program files there, put bracket x86 bracket, and then it should fix your problem of not being able to find it. Uh, they're the only errors I know of at the moment, so thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, drop a like and a comment. So, yep, yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope you set up your server.